I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Oh, that's nice to hear. I've had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a... puff scheme. Surely you're joking. You can't possibly be afraid of a puff scheme. It may seem irrational to you, but my experience with them has been most upsetting. They eat bogeys, you know. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plant should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Having I'd like to see your parents' school. faces when they see your marks at the end of term. Perhaps you should work on your polyjuice potion so you can pay them a visit as sharp and lie yourself silly about how marvelous you are and how you exceeded expectations. <laughs> Why are we only learning all the boring potions? When are we learning Felix Felicis? Knowing Sharp, he'll probably teach it after we've done our exams. I wish I'd brought a pet owl to school. Ah, there you are. I can't <sighs> imagine receiving a howler. I don't send many owls to myself, but it is nice to get them. What? Don't look at me like that. Once my sister sent me a howler simply because I brought one of her fast Faster! Slow down now. There we go.
Alohomora. Rebellion. Venia Alohomora Lumos. Rebellion. Aloha Mora. Yeah. 
Revelio. Alohomora. Revenia. Revelio. Alohomora. Now, demi guys. Rebellion.
might be meaning to ask you. You wouldn't have an extra quill I could borrow, would you? I tried to brew some Amortentia once. It was an awful disaster. I thought he'd take an interest in me. I fell asleep in Transfiguration once. Professor Weasley woke me up and... Whoa. Do you think it's possible to spend time with any of the Mer people from the lake? Uh, I was always in trouble, I was. Always something broken in the garden. Ornaments, torn up lawn. My father writes to me every week asking about classes and wondering if I've made any new friends. I dread mail. Every time our owl appears in the Great Hall, I simply cringe. We had a ghoul in our attic. Groaned all the time. Quite the nuisance. Still, we never had spiders. My aunt made some Amortentia once, because she wasn't oh. getting along well with my uncle. Honestly, the way some of those Slytherins fawn all over Professor Black, it's embarrassing. Even he seems irritated by it. Then again, what isn't he irritated by? Revelio. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Knowing our meat, he's likely studied here. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. Lumos.
Pavelio. Confringo! Hazel. Lumos. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Lumos. Revelio. As a muggle boy, I used to feel I had a lot of work to do if I wanted to catch up to the other students. Now I realize that no particular group of wizards has the monopoly on skill. <laughs> I was destined to be a glory. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. 
must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Now that I think about it, Puff Skeen Dunkeen, I think I shall keep this. You need to overcome your cowardice. You can't be serious. <gasps> this is awful. I don't know what to do now. I'm doing you a favor. Disappointment like this will encourage you to become a stronger person. I don't need to be stronger. I need to be left alone. Even Zenobia Noak will make fun of me now. You've wasted my time. You're not who I thought you were. Should never have trusted you. Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Sounds as if you caused a smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's books. Venia. Revelio.
Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revenia. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yes. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Revenia. My mother is so excited for me to come home for the holidays. She's written to me nearly every day. The family hours exhausted.
I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I've found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? Yes. Finders keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it! You're just as bad as everyone else! I hate this school! You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells! Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? You don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Dura Core feather, it doesn't half hurt. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt, because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Mooncalf fur? Derricle feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricles. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. Seems like a poor choice of inventory. Surely that's obvious. You don't mind sharing your opinions, do you? Despite the fact that we are a wizarding village, doesn't mean these things appear by magic. Takes a lot to round up these feathers. Don't get me started on whoppers. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Perhaps it was your dealings with whoopers that led to the precarious idea of stocking diracles. Oh, <laughs> you are well and cheeky, aren't you? Don't worry, I don't mind. Never had a still tongue in my head either. And I'll have you know that it's my eyes' priority to ensure that all beasts are safe and well cared for. Right thing to do and good for business. Anyway, perhaps you should have a look around. Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. <laughs> Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. 
What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Revelio. Told that if you put in a good effort, you'll reap the reward. The ministry is good work if you can get it. Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. be allowed to attend. Couldn't agree more. Not to mention, it exposes us to their backward way of thinking. Talking about muggle-borns again? Yes, and how they shouldn't be allowed at Hogwarts. I heard one talking about sewing a sock the other day. How utterly revolting. Completely barbaric. Some are quite clever, you know. A few quite talented authors. A couple even write books on magic. <laughs> how absurd. As if anyone hailing from a muggle could write the first thing about magic. The sheer audacity. But they're very good with Christmas decorations. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, hmm. 
I do like a few of their carols. Although they get all the facts wrong and clearly think any sort of vision is an angel. Suppose they don't mind the odd Cornish pasty. Seen some unusual cats in that region too. Saw one tear his coat in London once. Muggle that is. Felt awful to not be able to help him with a mending charm. Not that I would have, of course. I should hope not. They can't be trusted. Except with Cornish pasties, I suppose. Thomas Brown has some books by muggles. Shan't be going there again. Uh, saw a recipe book last time I was there. The Tomes and Scrolls. A recipe book? <laughs> Do you think they'd have one for the pasty? The last time I was at Dog Madam Green had... Remember that day? Yes, in Greenhouse 3. Yes, you'd hidden a bucket of leaping toadstools over at the far end. Yes, I do recall now, and Professor Garlic knocked it over and we ran out. I got told off for that. Well, I did say to distract her by asking how to handle flesh-eating slugs. Well, I was mildly distracted by the shuffling of the mandrakes, I do believe. Do you recall that part too? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. The toadstools had more than proven their name and were hopping into the mandrake pots. Tell you what, I'll forget the whole thing if you can spot me some sneezewort and scurvy grass. You after making a befuddlement draft? Yes. There's a third year who keeps enchanting my quill to go up my nose. Time he learned who's in charge here. Well, it's not you. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, that's rotten to enchant your quill. How foul. Plus, it's an old quill. Clearly has feathers of some horrible bird that had no pride. Very painful up a nostril, I can tell you. Fair enough. I'll trade you sneeze wart and scurvy grass in exchange for letting bygones be bygones. Friends? Always. And don't be stingy on the sneeze wart. But it's always so noisy in the common room. And oh. I can't concentrate, so I end up just talking to everyone and nothing gets done. If I could have a moment of your time... Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. She was just good at casting a spell. No wonder I've never heard of her. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, the single greatest Depulso master of all time. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows Depulso, which of course... Third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting to Pulso? She once saved orphans from a wild graphhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. What ended up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while. Just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually banished herself. No one knows for sure. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting.
We were merely musing on the state of affairs. I don't even find her interesting. She's a bore, a dreadful bore. This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Here it is. The Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. That to see if Herodiana burned was as good as Sophronia said she was. Revelio! See, the switch reset everything. Good to know. <laughs> 